Hi, this is Dale. Today we're going to talk about uh, relays when using a negative to turn the relay on. In cars, there's two circuits that you normally would use this in. Um, I'm sure there's more that would that you could use it for, but normally the two are for your cooling fan and for your horn. Now, they're both, the circuits are, are wired pretty much exactly the same. I mean, cooling fan, you're going to use a sensor that's in your water jacket, the engine, that when it triggers, it turns, goes to ground, turns the relay on. And of course, a horn, when you push the button, it turns the relay on. I've seen, I've seen several cars that were brought into my shop where the horn, the person that was working on it didn't realize the horn button wasn't hot wire and created a fire in the column. But pretty much across the board on at least all your older vehicles that the there was a wire that ran up through the column and then there was a little brush that it hooked to. And that brush made contact with a ring that was attached to the steering wheel so you could turn the steering wheel and there were you know no wires attached and when you push on the horn button it would ground that ring to the column and that would trigger the relay that's why there was always a horn relay horns don't draw that much amperage so you don't need a relay for that purpose but but that is that's why so uh, with that uh, real quick Grab the holder for the relay here and bring it up. Here, so you can see we've got uh, numbers on a relay. I'll show here in just a moment, but we've got an 87. Let me turn this the right way. Here, okay. So we got an 87. And then the center one, which normally isn't used, just like on this one it isn't, is an 87A. Then the top is 86, 85. And 30. So if you look at a, bring a relay over, you can see that it is uh, the same. So it turns the right way here. And it'll just be mirrored for the 85 and 86. But you see you got 87, 87, A, 30, 86, and 85. So back back to this. Actually, we'll go, we'll go to our uh, sheet of paper here. Let me zoom in on that a little more okay all right i'll walk around my camera here and do it from here so when we want a negative to trigger this thing we are going to go with 85 and 430 here to go to a 30 amp fuse or breaker And that would be, um, for a horn, that would be on all the time with key on or off. And for your fan would be with uh, key on. Okay. Then uh, 85 here, that'll go to your temp sensor, which actually is a temp switch. That's in the water jacket. And 87... We'll go to the fan. That will, when when this triggers it, this will go to to a positive to the fan and go out. So that's that's our basics of doing that. Same, that wouldn't matter. Say if you were uh, doing a horn instead of going to the fan, we would be going to the horn instead. That'd be the only difference. So with that. Back to our, let me get back around the camera here. Uh, this thing lined up here in the right direction. So what I'm doing here is I've got a black wire that is coming off of 86 right here at the top. And then this red wire that is off of 30. Um, both of these are going to a 30 amp breaker that I've got in my circuit here. And then 
we've got this brown wire right here that's on 85 that's going to my temp sensor and again over here on 87 that is going out to the fan so so you can pull back here a little bit and uh, come over here and you can see that I've got here I've got the breaker and I've got the black wire and red wire going to the breaker and then I got my feed in to the breaker there over there is just kind of my bus bar for the negative right here and I've got a negative that's going to the fan itself and then this one right here is going to serve as the uh as the engine block ground is what this clamp is is representing there so as soon as i turn on some electricity to everything and then turn on my warm this thing up Okay. Be able to, it'll take a minute for it. It's got to get up to 205 degrees on this one before it'll kick on. All right, so there we go. Fans running, which is right here. And then as soon as that cools down, so as soon as then that cools down, it will break that ground going to the relay all right so there it's cooled down ground is broken to the relay shuts the fan off so it's as simple as that uh the other thing to take note of is that you can take your your positive and your negative leads to your fan and you can change them to to uh uh make it either a pusher type fan or one that's pulling. So you can put the fan either at the front of the radiator or on the backside of the radiator towards towards the engine and just switch the polarity and I'll switch the direction of the fan. I think that's uh, that'll cover it. Um, again, let me grab my piece of paper here so you can get it in focus. Just so you see number 86 and number 30 tied in together and they go to a 30 amp fuse or circuit breaker. 85 is your temp switch or would be your horn horn button. If you're going to use it for horn. And there, you know, I had it on fan. I scratched out, put scribbled on there, horn. I can't even hardly read that, but that's what it says. Now, 87A, which is middle, generally isn't used. But if we were to take 87 and plug it into 87A instead, the fan would run all the time until that temp sw switch came up to the, it's 205 degrees on this one and turn the relay on and it would turn the fan off. So this uh, actually stays hot all the time until the relay is triggered and then it turns it off and it switches it over to 87. That's that's what that is. So generally, not much use for 87A, but um, you know, never know on on something that might be a uh, an alarm system or something where it might come in handy. All right, with that, I'm gonna button it up. Uh, we'll cover uh, positive trigger in a future uh, uh, video and get that covered as well. Hope you uh, enjoyed this and come back and, and see a few more. Subscribe and have a blessed day.